AMD's latest drivers, 23.7.1, has just dropped and there are a lot of important changes. So if you're a competitive gamer, should you upgrade to this latest drivers? Now we'll be testing competitive games like Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Valorant, and PUBG to see if there are any changes on this latest update. Now we run multiple benchmarks multiple times until it was consistent before we started recording. Now, unlike most benchmarkers, we are actually using one of the most common AMD card, good value, the RX 6700 XD, and we pair it with our Ryzen 5800 X3D, and we are using an external PC to do all the recording, using an external capture card, so there's no performance loss. Now, there are a few changes which will impact you as a competitive gamer, Now we're going to go through it really quickly number one there's going to be some stuttering issues according to amd on call of duty modern warfare and with anti-lag turned on so we'll try to test that one out in warzone and see if it has any impact at all number two there's some pretty niche issues that i've experienced while running this driver i'll talk about it later down the video and number three if you're a big fan of anti-lag image sharpening in all those settings um, amd has decided for some reason to move those settings out the display and move it here which like literally no one asked for but hey it's amd let's just move it Bruh. okay let's start off with call of duty modern warfare and warzone so we're going to be testing on 1080p 1440p with fsr 2.1 and then we're going to go to warzone almazra with our anti like turn on and turn off and we'll see if there are any differences at all and in here we're going to be testing using competitive settings so yes okay here we go 1080p our latest driver versus the old driver, the 5.2, and we can see right here that our we're using more VRAM in here, and we are also maybe using not more or less the same RAM, but you can see in here our 0.1% lows are lower compared to the older driver, which is that's so good. GPU utilization is maxed out, and we've got more or less the same GPU power as well. So that's pretty even in here. Let's jump to 1440p with FSR 2. Oh, look at that one. Our 0.1% lows are way lower compared to, to the 3.5.2 drivers. So let's go to 1440p with FSR 2.1 benchmark again. And yeah, once again, our 0.1% lows is worse. In here, 1% lows are worse as well. Just on the start of the benchmark. We are using slightly more VRAM in here. RAM usage is the same. GPU is maxed out as well. And look at that one. 0.1% lows and 1% lows are still lower compared to the previous driver. Let's see how this one turns out on the later part. Okay, so yeah, now we're going to jump on to Warzone and we try this out. And like turn on and turn off. Now do not push. We have died multiple times so we tried to keep that one as like apples to apples comparison as we can so let's go to almazra here we go almazra at 1080p with anti like turn on and we can see in our latest driver we're using slightly more vram in here and slightly more ram as well look at that one we have much more stable one percent and point one percent lows and frame times in here look at that one a few frame time spikes on our older driver well we got a little bit in there uh I would say we have better results in here with our latest driver with anti like turn off. Let's jump off to anti like turn off. Oh, we do have a, a little bit of um, frame time spikes there. Okay, right now we have anti like turn off in here, and right off the bat, we also have better 1% and 0.1% lows. Look at that one, there's a frame time spike over there for our older driver. VRAM is more or less lesser actually, lesser, and the RAM usage is lesser on this case. Um, everything else is more or less the same. It's better overall performance on this one. I'm happy with this one. Let's jump on to 1440p with FSR 2.1 turn on. And we've got, yeah, definitely better on this one. And here we go, FSR 2.1, 1440p, anti lag turn on, and once again, our 0.1% lows are slightly better. Well, now it's dropped. Okay, so, yeah, that's fine. I'm using more VRAM in here and slightly more RAM. Performance, I think, and it's really close, apart from the 0.1% lows that you do not, boys, that we do have smokes and our like other on our latest driver so you do have to take what that one into consideration everything else is basically more or less the same let's go on to anti leg -like turn off and on 1440p with fsr 2.1 and once again we are using slightly more vram 
and it's the same right so we've got slightly better point what is it lows oh yeah someone's firing on our old driver in there but yeah we we've got much more better results on our latest driver in here so frame times are much more stable too compared to our um older driver so yes that's it let's all let's jump to our next game apex legions in apex legions in here we are using 1080p with competitive settings again let's try this one out on our firing range and we're going to do some firing shots in here look at that one smokes oh looks like we've got slightly lower performance on our latest driver you're seeing slightly more vram and slightly more ram okay heavy action scenes it seems like our older our new driver is probably much more stable but has lesser overall performance and in here still shots and seems like our latest driver slightly less performance but as i've seen um, in terms of stability i think it's much more stable and heavy action scenes and we've run this benchmark multiple times until we actually get more consistent results let's jump on to the next game fortnite and with fortnite we're going to be testing out all three p three apis again dx12 dx11 and performance mode let's start off with dx12 in here okay here we go right dx12 it seems like we are using more vram in here but we do have maybe uh yeah slightly more vram and slightly more ram in here um, our older driver is starting strong with this one, but let's see how this one holds out later the track. Yeah, we got like frame time spikes over there, which just bring out. So this, the new driver on DX12 is actually much more stable. And like I said, we have done this run multiple times, and this is the much the like the the more consistent results. And we've got obviously better results here with our latest driver. Let's jump on to DX11 okay dx11 in here so same settings again let's see how this one turns out okay let's go and right off the bat it seems like our older driver is starting strong on this one boys look at that one average fp is it's much more higher compared to the latest driver we are using more vram and more ram on our latest driver as well look at that 700 megabytes difference in terms of system memory but Look at that one, our latest drivers now have slightly higher 0.1% lows at 153 versus 126. GPU utilization is around 75%, 77 for both. We do have lesser, probably lesser uh, GPU user, GPU power, I think. But yes, overall, it's I think this the the older drivers still performs better in here in terms of average fps and one percent lows let's jump on to performance mode okay now here we go performance mode now we all know that performance mode is not the best in amd but let's see if there's any difference now on the latest driver and looks like it's starting strong with the latest driver we got 236 on the 1% lows and then we are also once again you see more vram and once again you see more system memory in here it is slightly better than the older driver but once again we've got those frame times look at the terrible frame times boys and that's because of the gpu clock now with performance mode gpu clock for amd guys just drop down so we're going to lift them on those ones up and we've got like a lot of feedback from you guys on our previous videos that you know 2200 megahertz is not enough so we're going to bump it all the way up to 2500 so 20, we'll set 2500 for a minimum um frequency you know the right let's see how that one turns out okay now here we have 2500 megahertz on our minimum frequency and it seems like on our older driver is mm, look at that one better slightly better let's see how this one turns out on the later part of the benchmark and yeah 0.1 percent lows definitely going to the older driver let's see how this one in terms of stability yeah yeah i think it still goes for the older driver right that's 
pretty much it yeah i mean yeah look at look at those 0.1 percent low boys i think this is like the sweet spot for the older driver okay all right let's move on to actually putting the clocks even higher all right yeah that's 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 um, pretty much it i think the older driver wins on this one let's bump our clocks to 2600 34 in here so 2634 that's the maximum frequency but we're going to make that as our minimum frequency and obviously once we apply this one the maximum frequency will change now th essentially this will be more or less like an overclock Let's see if that works out all right you can see that our maximum frequency has jumped now to 2734 and yeah we'll see if there's any difference Looks like we're starting really strong in here and both of our GPUs in here and both drivers are now actually maxing out the GPU. About 94 watts in here. Look at the 1% loss, it's dramatically improved boys compared to the stock settings of performance mode. So obviously there is a difference in here if you set this one out to like the maximum clocks as the minimum. Minimum. All right. Uh, obviously, you know this again. Frame time spikes for our older driver. So, I think the, the newest new drivers 7.1, 7.1 is much more stable. It uses slightly more VRAM and slightly more system memory, but I think it's much more stable. Okay. Let's look at how this performs when we scale things up. So we're going to compare everything now. Here we have everything on our older driver you know the performance both stock the 2500 and the 2634 settings in here and you can see that i think the 2500 is the sweet spot setting in here like look at the gpu utilization in here boys it doesn't scale at all like the 70 percent on the older one and 49 47 sometimes it jumps around okay so yeah I think, yeah, 2400 is the sweet spot in here. Try to focus on the results as well. The thing to scale. Now, this is now our 7.1. Uh, this is perfectly linear. Now, the, the, the higher we go with our minimum frequency, the performance also goes the same. And that's the same with our performance and GPU utilization as well. Like, even the GPU power as well. So, obviously, the higher you go, the bit better your experience is. And you can see that here so yeah all right let's go with um valorant so valorant competitive settings at 1080p so basically competitive settings in here let's test this one out okay right off the bat we've got slightly higher vram and but lesser system memory i think our performance in here is actually much better compared to the older driver so if you're a valorant player I think it's a wise choice to actually stick with the newest driver or Valorant. Let's try how this one turns out with heavy action scene. Okay, let's see. All right now, once again, like look at the 0.1% lows for older driver. It's still unstable. Obviously, the new driver is much better. All right, let's go to the next game, PUBG. Okay, here we go, PUBG, and then we're just going to set everything on competitive settings at. 1080p dx11 enhanced for sake of simplicity we'll just use 1080p let's see how this one scales out okay Rook. performance is more or less the same probably uh, on the margin error so there's not much change there apart from the vram which is slightly higher and the ram as well look at that one boys 8.9 gigabytes compared to 10 gigabytes on the latest driver that's pretty much it the risks are Ooh, margin error so that's about it boys okay so now let's talk about the issues with this latest driver now i did mention that i did have a couple of issues with this latest driver it may not apply to 99 percent of you guys though what i've initially done is i'm doing the benchmark of the latest drivers and we have the external pc recording now when we are setting our resolution to 1080p we experienced two issues in here. The number one issue that we had was sometimes the voice or the audio may tend to disappear. The other issue that we had is that when we are benchmarking on a 1080p resolution and recording with an external capture card XOPC, PC, the free sync doesn't work at all. It seems like I'm, I'm playing on a 60 hertz monitor. So 
but when you scale it up to 1440p the screen tearing issue you know doesn't appear anymore seems like it's working as normal but you do get those audio issues once in a while that's all the issues if you want to look at the previous driver coverage that we had click this video right here and if you want more of these type of contents click the subscribe button so you'll be up to speed with any changes 